volunteers. And it wasn't just nice today, a bit of a cool down for volunteers. Anybody out and about today enjoying this weather, Natasha? Yeah, 71 in July. At the end of July, it's pretty nice. Over to Kalama, I've been watching this uh, kite border here. Doing a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one of those days where it would be great to just be outside doing anything you can. Uh, it's not going to stay this cool for that long, though. We're going to get back into the 80s here starting tomorrow. And then by the time we hit the weekend, I think everybody's going to want to take a dip in the water because our daytime highs will be close to about 90 degrees. But yeah, just taking in that view right there in Kalama. So nice. Okay, 24 hour temperature change. Big change for you. The Dalles and Madras, almost 10 degrees cooler. A big change though to the southeast where temperatures are on the rise. In fact, out towards Rome, that's where temperatures are up 20 degrees compared to this time yesterday. So, hey, the full moon, be sure to check it out. It'll be full officially on Friday. Why is it called the July buck moon? Well, this is when uh, deer typically get their new antlers with velvet. And then by the end of July, typically that velvet starts shedding and then you see those shiny antlers. So just a little fun fact for you. The Dalles right now, 78 degrees. Wind is out of the west at 25. Red flag warning still in effect here. Great view of Mount Adams, a much better view than we've had in the last couple of days. So on our water vapor imagery, we're able to see where all that dry air is and where that monsoon moisture is popping up right over Arizona and uh, portions of uh, Utah. This is where the most active weather is right now. We're not tapping into that. We're in this dry slot right here, and this continues for the next few days under this big ridge of high pressure. So where is all that smoke going to go? It will continue moving across the eastern half of our state, over into Idaho and Montana, Northern California, as well as Nevada. So red flag warnings will be in effect until tonight. That includes the gorge from Hood River to the east, out towards Pendleton, as well as at Central Oregon. Temperatures for us right now, 74 in Portland. Low 70s by 8 o'clock will be in the mid 60s overnight tonight, right around 10 o'clock. Wind for the most part is looking pretty calm at PDX, dew point at 45. So take a look at that wind gust forecast. Winds will pick up again tomorrow afternoon. We expect that to happen. Not looking at any big changes in wind direction, mostly out of the northwest. This takes us into Friday by Friday afternoon, anywhere from about 20 to 25 miles per hour for the strongest winds there near the coast. That ridge of high pressure continues through Friday and Saturday into Sunday. This is when we're expecting those hotter temperatures to take over, but nothing to actually bring us any rain in this forecast. How about that extended forecast? Just looking at clouds because we know we're not expecting any rain, at least not for Portland. We get to Monday, Monday morning, uh, more robust marine layer trying to edge its way in and by the middle of next week, right around Wednesday, we might be tapping into that monsoon moisture for at least for the south central portion of our state. Hopefully right over the Boot Lake fire, that would be ideal to get some measurable rain right there. As we get to Thursday of next week, a few more clouds, but again, no rain showing up for us. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Tomorrow's high 82 on Friday. We're up to 86, but look at Saturday and Sunday. Both days right around 90 degrees. Your overnight temperatures go from the mid 50s to the low 60s. And then we continue on for next week right around 86 to 87. So keeping it above normal as we continue on those overnight temperatures in the upper 50s. All right, thanks, Natasha. And coming up.